the power of deciding deciding what you get to have deciding the standard setting the intention I'm gonna share this story with y'all of how the power of deciding truly change everything and why it is important for you to decide what is it that you want and what is it that you do not want like it is there is a specific type of decision like you can decide in the sense of decide between something black and white pink and blue specific things that like that but there is another type of power in deciding from within when you decide from within everything changes the energy everything changes but that is also when the circumstances that are gonna appear to see how much power are you holding in that decision to see if you're truly holding the power of that decision and in this video I'm gonna share with y'all a story time of how I escalated actually from 3,000 month to 10,000 month I'm also going to be sharing another story that is that is also very important in regards of deciding this is also something that I go in depth into the angel frequency course because when it comes to this situation where you decide a lot of circumstances are gonna try to appear and a lot of these circumstances are just a reflection of your own limitations of the own beliefs this is what I call filters and sometimes this filter is what makes it decision what makes it hard for us to stand in the power of our decision so in the angel frequency course i share with y'all the scripting method so you're gonna use this scripting method to change the circumstance the possibilities the all the ways that it can be different for you okay so i'm gonna start with the story time and then we're gonna talk a little bit about that so when i at 17 i at 18 i was looking for a job i couldn't find any job at that time and the thing is the only job job that was appearing is waitressing and i remember this one day i would decide that i will not be going back to waitressing because i started working as a waitress at 15. by this age i was already a rec i already my last position was recruiting agent so it did not make sense to me to go back to waitressing and i remember i just said i'm not gonna go back to waitressing i'm not gonna do that like i will apply i will be open up for anything besides waitressing yeah i started applying doing all this whole process of job finding a job you know interview applying paperwork all of that tell me why all of the jobs that I was offered was waitressing and people were telling me that I am crazy because I was I, I was not accepting these jobs I received jobs via um, how to say like via agencies even the own hotels like the managers because the people that I work with via recruiting agent I have a lot of great relationship with managers and they would set, they will offer me jobs for um, waitressing because that's the position that they had and th which was great because I could have just started directly with the hotel which leveraged a lot of um, bonuses and also the tips and a lot of people tell me that I'm crazy because I can be working a job where I get two salaries, tips and you know, the regular salary and all the benefits and all these things. And I was like, no, I am not going to accept any waitressing job because I already leveled up. I know I can have something better. I know I can work a better job. I know I can work a better position. So I'm not going to accept this just because it seemed looked or just because people didn't understand. Like, oh, there were so many people trying to convince me and tell me like, 
it, they were almost telling me, yeah, yeah, it's your own fault that you don't have a job because you have this waitressing opportunity and you just don't take it. And I'm like, because that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. And be, I, a few months later, I end up working in Zara with, where I end up going from minimum wage to 3,000 months to 10,000 monthly paid salary. And this was the craziest experience because I did this in less than three years. Like, honey. And when, during that whole process of escalating, I, I would, I would go to work, I would enjoy it, I would just be having fun with it. But each time I always felt like, I knew I can get something better. I knew that it, this can be better. Like this is great, I love this and I appreciate it, but I know that there must be better. And a lot of the times after um, working or after school, I would spend a lot of time writing because I, the circumstances sometimes, it was very stressful, I would have a lot of um, emotional things happen with me, so I would end up writing and I would write all of these things and then by the end of my writing I would just be writing of all these other possibilities of all these other things that I can be doing I was using the, the angel scripting method the method that I taught in the master class and a lot of the times I would do it I would forget because I would get into the habit again of working, going to school, studying and just being busy with whatever it is that was going on Another thing that I was also doing is imagining. A lot of the times just at work, um, I would have begin the mornings and it would be like, girl, stressful or crazy or like, you know, um, meetings and all of these. So things wasn't always going right. I had a lot of pressure because I was also learning all of it while I was doing like I was being a virtual merchandise while learning to be a virtual merchandise so it was a lot of pressure and um, I would have these moments where I wouldn't feel like it and or there was just the whole collection I need to change the whole store I need to like organize this whole thing so during that I would be like you know what I'm just gonna imagine that this is my store and I own this store and all these people come here and they shop here and they buy things from me and they make me rich and you know that's that's I would tap into tap out into that fantasy and tap into work and a lot of the times people will be telling oh my god you're the hardest working person I know blah 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 and they don't know because I was so much in my imagination imagining all these things while i was working on this collection so it really got me excited so i'll keep making it better and just look this amazing ta -ta -ta, and all of that so through a combination of all of these things what happened is that eventually i was each time i was deciding that there is something better for me there is something better for me. I can, this is gonna this is gonna be so beneficial to me. Like from this circumstance, something better is gonna come for me. And each time I was deciding that, like each day that wasn't the best day, I was deciding that. Thank God for this experience because I know this is gonna bring me something better. Even though in this moment I don't freaking feel like it, I feel terrible. I hate this. Da 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 da. da. I was going crazy on it. And then I was like, but I know that this is going to bring me something so amazing, so great. So I just, I decide right now that this is going to be great for me, even though I cannot feel it, see it, or understand it yet. And the more I did this, the more I will put power in my decision. And this helped me that eventually, when I would decide certain things, like, the decision is a decision that has to come from within. You have to know from within that there must be, there has to be something great for me in this experience. In no other way around it. Otherwise I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be here. This is legit the perspective I would decide from. 
and when i would feel that decision so like when i would feel it then i'll be like i decided and the next day will be a completely new day for me or the next moment will be a completely new moment for me because i already decided i don't care about what has happened what has happened has happened whatever i already decided <laughs> i don't care about the past i don't care about anything because i already decided that is the power of deciding and this is something that it's also like the perspective like a lot of these things that i just told you in this video i go in deep in the angel frequency master class also in the course which is where the scripting the meditations and the affirmations are so make sure that you check that out on the divine diva academy or just go onto my instagram and you can find it in the bio so thank you so much y'all for watching this video i hope this was truly helpful and i hope that now you have a better or another understanding of deciding and now you can decide from an inner place go within go within go back into yourself and decide from within and everything changes see you guys in the next video